Hello, Wolfpack! We're back, and we're continuing The Walking Dead Season 2, the third episode in the series. So let's waste no time and get into this intense episode. Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Them, it's family. I answered it was family. Our choice carried over for that one. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. We're going home as a family. So yeah, this is going to be a happy episode. We were captured by a discount governor. Yes, Clem sees the butterfly. Oh, we can touch it. You about done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. Alright, back to the Planet Express truck. Everything come out alright, girls? Troy, get him tied up. Will do. And we're on our way, probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. No, froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. We'll chalk it up as a lesson learned, all right? Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. Yeah, saying anything else gets them to smack you, even if you're silent. So that's Troy. I like to call him Evil Daryl, because he looks a lot like Norman Is Reedus. Okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! in harm's way. Understatement of the millennia. Yeah, we've all been captured except for Luke. Alright, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't wanna help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. I tried helping you, sir. We're in sir. a precarious position here. We gotta do something about Sit that. Down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? You could have warned us. Yeah, you didn't tell us he was a fucking psychopath. 
You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back in the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Ooh, sick That's not bird. not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I'm pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh, shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. Luke will help us. Oh, yeah? When? After that crazy fuck's killed us all? Hey, look, Clem. <laughs> close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just... Just listen to them. Yeah, okay. I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right. Everybody... Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right. Up and at him. That was an epic fail on Kenny's part. There's Tabia from 400 Days. How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. You know, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. Be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. No, of course not. Many of you already know a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we Can need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. exhausted. Just come the fuck on. We need help. We need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He's... He looks and after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project... He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. Yes, as a walker. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. So we're prisoners of Walmart. Bill can save if you're messing with it. It's like South Park said, we're all prisoners of Walmart. Let's get some rest, because there ain't going to be much for you tomorrow. You're going to be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, 
It would be. Fuck it, Bill. Keeps me out in the cold. But at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Richie! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I won't tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say... Reggie helped us. You, but when we ran away. Simple. Do you trust him? I don't know. He's nice, if that's what you mean. It's not. Oh, then I, I don't know. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. No, hey, I'm not Ray. Alvin. No. Hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Yeah, Pete died. Can you guys save it for the morning? Someone's gotta be up early. Is that Lee Everett? Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once There's you were Carol. all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened. But maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. 
I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. <sighs> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, uh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help her in interference on him. Uh, Negan isn't scared. I think he's the only one who isn't scared of this new world. You, huh? So let's go talk to replacement Lee. Hello? Get lost. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I think they reused his character model. So let's talk to Carol. So this is where she's been when Rick exiled her. I'm kidding, it's not really her. Though she does look a lot like Carol from the show. <laughs> really clem, uh, primal thing going for you? Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. Yeah, like like Alright, so, no talking to Discount Lee or Carol. Maybe Nick? Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Lou. Just, there's no way he's gone. That he left. How about him? Because me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Well, things change. Whole damn world change. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Us guys, you mean? Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. We're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. Just wanted to talk to Nick because he gets a smaller and smaller role as the series goes on in this. Mm, looks rickety. Ah, the cursor changed for a bit. Oh, wait, we just go talk to Rebecca. I didn't treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my brain, but I just can't remember. I'm sure he knows. In his heart? I'm sure he knows. I hope that's true. All right, get going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me. All right, we saw a harness like past her. Let's check out how secure the walls. So are Kenny and Reggie just standing there now, doing nothing? I'm just saying the conversation stopped. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Uh, she's a kid. We have that excuse. Ah, sorry, people got stuck there for a bit. Ah, there we go. Covered that fence in barbed wire. Ouch. Really, I don't think that looks climbable.
Reminds me of the jewelry store. Jewelry store? Which one was that again? <laughs> Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, the uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. I'm gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Yeah, they really hammered in that Troy's so worse than folks, Carver. Ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Troy might remember that. You know, it's pretty telling that Carver looks like a saint in comparison to this guy. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Now, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? Well, let Reggie be an example to you all. I'm so tired. Salvation is available. Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking talk over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay. the walls. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing his value. Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I, Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, uh, sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. I'm not sure if with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on. Not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I pipe down, Missy. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. I'm 
sorry, sorry. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. So I will up. God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine! Did she try to kill us? Who's this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stay gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. Shout and Becca. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. They're from the 400 Days DLC. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Yeah, that's the last time we see Shell and Becca ever again, too, in the series. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. It is your fault. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but... I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Why? Probably. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. Why didn't you leave? I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fit and protected. I don't envy that position. I figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <laughs> killed Walter, the guy who helped you. Because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? Oh, yay. A Care Bears found jacket. found it at the lodge y'all were in. Think it might be for skiing. It's kind of ugly. Really? I thought it was kind of cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia! What? 
Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Stay in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. So we're in their greenhouse now. And there's Sarah. Hey. Hey, you want a hug? Okay, well, I owe you one for later then. You might not know it's coming though, but I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. He never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. You sure you're not mad at us? Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket, simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want him freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. What was that? That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. Your own worker helps Sarah. I uh, will help Sarah. Hey. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know, I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, joy, here comes the boss. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> we were helping you Sarah. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy, I just have, I have one shut arm. Shut up, so shut up, shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... It sounds just, like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough, I guess. 
Ah, uh, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie, didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? Okay. Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. What's wrong, Sarah? Sarah gonna jump? I don't want Tate Marsh to repeat. No, 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 Jesus. Bill, no, 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 please. Ah. Ah. Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Well, Reggie's dead. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple. Just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tanya's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. An accident. He pushed him off the roof. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clint's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Oh, poor Reggie. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. So, is no one killing the zombies trying to tear down our fences? I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me. You ain't gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Who did you... <laughs> Walkers. Yeah, it's not working, Clem. Let's go. We gotta get away from this guy. Uh, come on, you. Goodness for the spike. Let's try the last. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. 
save your ass. Jesus. When I say he's evil, Daryl. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Oh look, we actually get an exploration level after a while. I thought the wall in Game of Thrones game was tough. Ah! Ah! Stop! Hey! It's me! Luke! Yes! Man, get the hell out of me! Good job hey, jumping you. us! Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. I was worried. We all were. That was good to see you too, kid. Alright, listen. I ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. Well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards. Watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I have ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Folks talking about that, but it ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know. Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any, any moment. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but... Well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. Hey, no Captain Marvel. Hey, everyone. Ghosted by Image Fuck. Comics. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy, I gotta like you being lame. Listen, Clem. I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm alright, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. Yeah, all his comic books are Robert Kirkman's comics. He's free advertising and stuff. Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is all fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now. Yeah, all those are Robert Kirkman's comics. Hey, there's Wyatt from 400 Days. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Oh, still funny as ever, Wyatt. You ought to see his video. That was the funnest 400 days mission. Rebecca! She's a strong woman. Surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Alvin. Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. You're a bully. Come again? You're just a bully. I know it wasn't a fair fight. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't. But life ain't fair most of the time. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now...
You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. Do you understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. You know what I wish? What's that, honey? I wish Kenny had killed you. And there's all the proof I need right there. You think anyone out there would have the balls to say something like that? Oh, he did, but look where he landed. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized that back in that cabin, you were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're going to get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. It's not your baby. It's Alvin's. Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. You there? You there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of me. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. And that was our first day on the job, people. Yeah, so far this is proving to be a fun camp experience. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. Hey, you referenced the Holly from the original series. Loud. There's some speakers outside the building. Pointed toward the parking lot. I, I mean Molly. Walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. He's right. I saw them too. Really? It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. 
You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. We need to get out of here soon, and the herd is right there. I'd rather take my chances with them than Carver. Atta girl. Look, it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. Getting loot through radio is helpful whatever we end up doing. It doesn't hurt to have more information. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turned radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually... I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me, and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Yeah, we referenced Lee's episode. A better episode Where than this one. come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on. Up and at her. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you want to boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. As usual, it's all up to Clementine. That's a lot of walkers. We're in trouble. Hey, there's Nate from 400 Days. I'm kidding, it's not actually him. There's Carver. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he put the same thing last time. Solar panels. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we saw Carver's blueprints. This has to be it. Easiest stealth section ever. Yeah, 
Gotta steal the radio from Tavia. Crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Uh, I was just, I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh? You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. I hope so, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there, just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. I figured we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. Never got used to a light buzzing or anything. A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Uh, while you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call the prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Uh, that was easy. Anticlimatic stealth section again. You can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a witness Vince. back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! Yay, the 400 days cameo again. And that's last time we see Vince. Yay, Mike caught us. You best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well. Got him. Everybody stay where you are. No need to draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. It was nothing. Sure it was. Anyway, get some rest. Yeah, so Jane likes us now. Even though she hated us earlier. I about Duck today. About his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. That's the name of the achievement we got. Ha uh ha. -huh. Here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Watch as them. Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. Alright, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, then we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would there's a million reasons? She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. 
I'm dead. And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to Becky. All right. I don't think today's going to be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's going to be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. I heard you, okay? Good. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. I'm going to get your tags all snagged on something. Let's go. Good thing Troy's a moron. Hey, she's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. Won't they need my help? Well, today I need it more. Come on. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine, and all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the least of your troubles, okay? Well, what are you waiting for? Yay, Bonnie trusts us this one time. So honesty is the best policy now in this episode. Russell. From 400 days. Bill don't like idle hands. And that's the last time we see Russell. Yeah, the 400 Days characters only make cameos, and we never Don't see him again. Shit up! I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke. Luke, are you okay? Okay, it's so Robert Kirkman's comic store. That looks really old. He's probably fine. Yeah, this is all just free advertising for Robert Kirkman's comic books. Because I saw Super Dinosaur, Invincible, and Ghosted. Was he sleeping here? Luke! I swear to Christ you're going to regret this. I was... You ain't supposed to be out here. People been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Will you wait and see what happens? Move! Hey! Get over there. 
And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? What's going on? I don't know, Clem. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. No care, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start by telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. It's all right. No, Sorry and he took that. the blame. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Three. Bonnie's now on our side, finally. Kenny got his eye beaten out by a radio. Kenny's tough. Of course, he'll have the plot armor that will allow him to live. And yeah, you get the idea. Carver's a complete, unsympathetic, irredeemable monster. Much hope for the eye. 
I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, he won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people, and now you intend to leave us behind. No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. I think fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because he won't have to. I'm all right, huh? We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now. Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We can meet out at Parker's Run. What the hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Yep, it's gonna be us again. Yeah, Clem's awesome. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Down into the office. Outdoor speaker switch. Turn on PA. Up to the roof. Down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. All right, let's go break in the Carver's office. Be careful. Okay. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. All right, let's hope they didn't beef up security. Oh, we just head right in. Good job, guards. See if Alvin's alive. Alvin, are, are you okay? Can't just leave him. Ah, uh, poor Alvin. All right, here's Carver's office. Oh, gee, there's the CD. Come on, come on. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. You did it. The walkers will come. Alvin, are, are you okay? Carver 
talk to all that tough guy shit, then keep the tiniest gun in the universe. <laughs> something funny about that. You have the project. We have the know-how. How? Come on. We have to go. I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some paper. No. We're leaving. We're all leaving. I ain't fit to move, kid. I, I've run out of room. What? No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. You'll be here any second. Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> Alvin's dead, but he took out Fidel Castro. It did look like him. Here come the lockers. Make it. Alvin. Rebecca, I am. Oh God, I am so sorry. Sheldon. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. We should tie him up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got any rope? <sighs> Yeah, kneecap him, Kenny. Go on and wait outside. We have to go. Kenny, please. need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. I don't want nothing to do with this. Look at you. you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. Fucking big man. Huh? Oh, come on, Clementine. Don't be like that. Don't run away. You know you want to see the show. Do you think you're fooling, huh? I know you. I know who you are. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny. Coming from you. How's that I? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a big fucking skull, Kenneth. To put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You old mess. Yep, I spared you all the scene of Carver suffering the beatdown. 
It gets gross. I mean, like, Glenn's death level and gross. Oh, he's done already? Got these lockers. Good thing the guards are morons. Better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live, or you can die here. Doesn't matter. Do it quick. We need to cover before the rest of them get close. Oh, there we go. Put it right on Clem's breast. Okay, now you turn around. It smells gross. Shit. Everybody shut the fuck up. Okay, okay. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost all us in the actual fuck is going on here. What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you. You hear me? Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What the fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did, but now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Man, you smell really bad. We gotta get a bath before we... Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Got it. They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong. And you will belong. There goes Troy. Most satisfying death in the game. Alright, now it's time to go through the Eye of Zombies. Sucks because Carver's dead. Sticking with Carlos and Sarah. Sarah left us. Come on, we got one coming on us. Rita's been bit. Oh man, what are we gonna do? What's the choice? (laughs) 
next time on The Walking Dead. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. And that was the end of The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 3. We hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in next time for more videos here on Wolf and Friends Gaming. Goodbye.